Hi, I thought I'd share with you a few little exercises that you could do if you have sciatica in particular, uh, but although these things are generally helpful for anybody who's got a really touchy back. So just a little bit of anatomy before we get going. I'm going to be referring a lot to your sacrum, so excuse my back for a second. But I'm talking about this area of the back right here. So if you feel this area of the back, you'll notice that there's a like kind of a, a flat bone right here. It's the last five vertebrae before you get to the tailbone. And that's what we're looking at to work with today, is the sacrum, especially in our first exercise. So I like to use a little uh, pillow underneath my head or a folded blanket underneath my head. You might want to do that too. We're going to come as best as you can to lay down on your back. Now a firmer surface works better than your bed, but if you really can't get up and down from the floor, the bed's at least a place to start, right? Because you want to get moving as soon as you can, even when your back pain is really holding, holding you back from doing most things you want to do. So get comfortable here. You can take your feet and place them at very many different angles, whatever works for your back. And then we're going to notice that sacrum that I referred to before. And we're going to try to imagine that there is a clock face on the sacrum. So if you could see that there's the sacrum over there and there's 12 o'clock at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock at 3 o'clock. And I'm imagining that superimposed into the sacrum. Now the top side of the sacrum, which is closer to the waistband of my pants, I can push that down just a little bit. And then I'm going to rock down that way and push down the lower side of the sacrum. And I'm going to pretend that this is 12 o'clock up here, and that's 6 o'clock down there. And just take a little bit of time rocking back and forth. And it doesn't have to be a big motion. And while you're doing this, try to notice if there's a lot of tension developing in your buttocks muscles, in your jaw, in your legs, and just let that go. This is a very small, soothing movement for the back, kind of like a rocking chair on the floor. And you can do that as long as you like. Try to breathe in and out through the nose in slow, regular breaths. So just trying to let that be a bit of a focus, is that slow, regular breath. And then after you've done that for a little while, now we're going to expand the imagery of the clock. Now if 12 o'clock is at the top side of the sacrum, near the waistband of my pants, then 3 o'clock might be over here on this side. So I'm going to push down at 12 o'clock and then go around the perimeter of the sacrum and push down at 3 o'clock. And then rock back up to 12 and rock over to 3. And do that a few times. Now sometimes it's real fuzzy and it's hard to find that movement, but you know, just work with it as best as you can. When that becomes a little clearer, go from 3 to 6. So this means I'm moving from this side of the sacrum down to the bottom side of the sacrum. So it's a little bit like belly dancing, but I'm laying down. And then I'll move from 6 until 9 o'clock, and 9 o'clock back to 6 o'clock. And sometimes I might discover more sensation in one quadrant than another. And then 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock back to 9 o'clock. And then finally, after I've done all of that and taken as much time as I want on each one of the quadrants, I'm going to rock around the clock. So I'm going to roll right around from 12 to 3 to 6 to 9, back up to 12. Do that a couple times in that direction, and then a couple times in the other direction. Okay. And then taking a little bit of time just to rest. So I've moved through this sacral clock exercise quite quickly. You might want to take more time, and that's fine. So you can stop the video here for a second and just repeat that on your own, and just take more time in the quadrants that you need more time. The second exercise I wanted to show you is called reclining pigeon pose. So if you have one side that's worse with the sciatica, start with the other side first. So I'm going to take this knee, just because I'm working with my own body, and I'm going to pull it in gently, and then I'm going to rotate so that the ankle is over the thigh. I might stop right here. I'm looking to feel some sensation in this buttock here. I don't want to really go really deep into the stretch like this, 
because notice what happens to that sacrum when I pull my leg up. See how I've tipped up my hips and stretched the back? That might not be the best thing for sore backs, believe it or not. Stretching is not always the best thing. So I want to try to maintain a little natural curve in my low back. My curve isn't enough to drive my hand right underneath, but I can feel there's some space under there between the back and the floor. So I'm kind of pointing my tailbone down towards the mat or pushing on six o'clock if we go back to the last exercise. I'm gonna hold this. If I have really no sensation here at all and I need more of a stretch, I can always lift my foot and put it on the edge of the couch or up on a wall or the edge of a sturdy chair. And this gives me a slight more sensation. I don't want to go for anything too deep though. I want to just feel comfortably engaged. I can still breathe regularly and in a relaxed way. So this foot up here could be on a chair or the couch or something like that, or it could stay down on the ground. And then after I'm done, I could let both feet come back to the floor and then repeat on the other side. So you take your time as you come into it. This could be the side where you have more active sciatica, so your range of motion might not be as great. Say hi, Natalie. And then remember, if you want a little bit more sensation, you can always put your foot up on a chair or the wall. It's important to take time to rest after the exercises. I call this constructive rest pose. And give yourself at least five or six nice, easy breaths here before you roll to your side and get back up and go on with your day. Good luck.